Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try the problem out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so here we've got this function b of t, and this tells you the average um, monthly high temperature for Buffalo in a given month where t is months. And you can see it's a sine wave where 25.29, take the absolute value of that, that's our amplitude, is the sine of 0 0.4895t, minus, here, um, it's part of our horizontal changes, these two numbers in here, 52 plus our midline at 55.2877. And they want to know what is the average monthly change between August and November. Well, August is the eighth month, and November is the 11th month. And I'm going to do B of 11 minus B of 8. You can change that order if you want. That will tell me the change um, in, what is that, average monthly high temperatures. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but they want an, an average monthly rate of temperature change. So that, that's a fancy way of saying, well, on average, how much are the, is the temperature changing between those months? So you take the total change, which is how much they have changed, and divide it by the months that pass, which will tell you per month how much is this changing. And then you're basically done. So. The other thing to point out is that I think they here um, notice they don't mention if this is a radian or degree model, so I'm going to assume radians. Let's just do that. Assume radian, and that's typical if you don't. Um, I know it says de the word degrees here for temperature, but that's very referring to degrees of a temperature, not degrees of a circle or an angle. So we're we're going to assume radians. Now, in this particular case, I think that the fa I don't I don't know, I think the fastest way is just to plug it in. So, let's do that together. So, I'm going to enter in, let's see. Um 25.29 25.29 times the sine and then we're just going to go through it uh, of point 0.48 9.5 T or X minus 1.9752 1.9752 then our midline sorry for all the scrolling plus 55.2877 and here notice that I just entered an X but we want to actually enter in a actual month value you want to do of 11 so we'll type second delete to do an insert and then close parentheses and then okay let's see so that should be that's our b of 11 and i think a way of dealing with that this is scroll up grab it go back over and delete the 11 and put in the 8 and do second insert second delete for insert and this will be b of 8 so we want to subtract those two numbers and divide it by 3 so I'm going to go up enter minus this number here enter and then divide that by 3 and that's our average temperature change rate of change to the nearest tenth would be negative 10.1. Now if you can't scroll up like that, what you can do is when you get a number like up here I got this number, right? Once you have that number you can press store and you can store it as a variable. So you can hit alpha A for example and then you go up here and get this number you have it and you store that, let's say, and press the store and then go alpha B. And you can do the same thing. You just you just do alpha A minus alpha B. Right? And then that just takes what you stored as A and B, subtracts them, then divide that by three. And we get the same thing. So you can also do that as well. But that's a way to work with it. Alright, I hope that helped.